Hey you guys, it's Luit here from Luit Hoosen Photography or LWG Photo or whatever, it doesn't matter. Right, so what I want to do is I just want to, I've just reset my Fuji. Uh, I'm shooting with uh, the Fuji X-T3 and um, I want to set it up so that it, it records um, uh, JPEG to the one memory card and um, RAW to the other. So I just want to show you quickly how to do that. So you go to your menu button. Uh, then you go up to your IQ. There we go. So this is the first portion. So mine is set on fine and raw. Normal and raw will give you a slightly less detailed uh, JPEG image. And there's still the, the full raw uh, image. Well then you've got alternative options like normal, fine and raw, whatever. But for this I'm going to choose fine and raw because I like sending pictures to my clients on the day. Then I'm going to go down to this little uh, operation spanner thingy and go to uh, uh, save data setup and then I'm going to hit the right button and go down to uh, there we go. So um, if you put it on, uh, I've got it now set on RAW and JPEG, that means it's going to record RAW to the one card, JPEG to the other. If you set it to backup, whatever's going to be recorded on the one card is also going to be duplicated on the other one. And sequential is just going to mean, uh, it's great for video and stuff like that, but I know some photographers also use it. Um, you know, you start shooting on the one card and uh, when it's full, it just kind of moves over to the next one. Um, but for me, uh, RAW and JPEG is always a good function. Uh, it's a good option to choose as well because if something does happen to the one card, then you still have a backup on, uh, on the other one, either JPEG or RAW. So I uh, hope this helps a little bit. And uh, yeah, man, give me a couple of likes. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.